Okay, good evening. And you know, we were just talking about how such a wonderful evening it is tonight. We can remember when it's been 30 degrees and raining, but this is great weather. Well, I want to just welcome you all to this event. I think it's a special way that we kick off our Anderson traditions, our, our, our Christmas tradition downtown. I'd also like to thank our county council and their employees for putting on just this great space right here. Thank you. And I've seen the, the tree with their lights and it seems like it gets brighter every year and we thank you. And again, a special thanks to the T.O. Hannah Jazz Band. Let's give them another round of applause. You know, they've been doing this for a while and what they do is very special and, you know, it's almost a good soundtrack for the season, so thank you guys. I'd also um, like to recognize some of my fellow council members that are here tonight. And I hadn't seen everybody, but I saw Don Chapman over here, Matt Harbin's here. Um, we have Jeff Roberts on our council. Tony Stewart, Dr. B. Thompson, Rick Lockridge, John Roberts, Cal Newton. I think I got everybody. I was trying to go down the road. So thank you. Thank you for um, what you do to help me and our city move forward. You know, I'm also excited to share some good news with you. I don't know if you heard it, but the city of Anderson was recognized as one of the seven top places in the entire country to retire. Yes, and that was by AARP's livability staff. And I think what it does, it recognizes what we already know, but it's so good to be on a national stage where people recognize what we're doing every day and recognizing the good things that we do. And also, speaking of good things that we're doing, I, I'd be remiss if I did not thank our city employees for what they're doing to light up downtown. I think it's a tremendous um, light show in, in the festivities, and so I appreciate our city employees. Thank you. And also, what I one of just a couple of things in regards to some of the things that are starting to happen. Now, the Holiday Ice, sponsored by County Bank at Carolina Inn Park, that opens tonight. And so, obviously, I would like for you to take advantage of that and, and go skating. I'm not going to skate, but I want everybody else to go skating. And I also want to, and this is pretty special, I noticed of the storefront story graphics of the book, The Magic Sled by Scott Foster. And when you go up and down the streets, what you'll notice are parts of his book. And there's also a podcast that about the book that the Market Theory is put on. So uh, take advantage of that tonight. And of course, and, and we have the, obviously this Sunday, we have the Christmas parade at three o'clock. And so weather be good again. So I'm looking forward to everyone coming out for the Christmas parade. Last but not least also in this season of joy, I want us to all be mindful of, there are some people in our community that might need help. You know, they might be hungry, they might be cold, or we might have people who are lonely and they just might need a smile. And so make sure that you reach out to people. A good idea would be to maybe go and volunteer to help a nonprofit bring joy to somebody or maybe just be a good neighbor and make sure that your neighbors are taken care of. So on behalf of the city of Anderson, um, I, I wanna wish you a, a, a happy holiday season, Merry Christmas and Let's just have a good time this Christmas and um, let there be peace on earth. Thank you.
I'm going to get uh, Terrence Roberts to say a prayer. I think he's got a, he's got the inside track, so uh, <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Bow your heads and please pray with me, please. Our Father, we thank you for this day. We thank you for the many blessings that you have bestowed upon our community. We thank you for all the people here and the, the, the positive energy that they bring to our community. Father, we ask that you always take care of our first responders. Um, they are the people who put their lives and, and, and go before people in our community to keep our community safe. We ask that you pray for those who need help and that you find places for them to go get help and that you encourage your children to help those. We ask that you take care and understand that we're stronger together than we are apart. And we ask all of these things in your name. Amen. 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 Good evening. On behalf of Amherst County Council, I welcome each and every one of you here tonight. Thank you all for coming. Got a couple of council members here, Councilman John Wright Jr. and Vice Chairman Brett Sanders. It's great to be here tonight back in person, isn't it? Hey, come on. Great to be here. I want to say, uh, also, I want to thank the people that helped put this on, the hospital and med. Without these people, we couldn't be doing this. I want to thank them. I want to thank the county administrator and his staff. As you said earlier, Brian Richardson and his team for building grounds, doing all the work they've done, the 2S, and the whole county, Anderson County employees. I also want to thank the city of Anderson for what all they do. Let's try to remember to shop local. And as the mayor said a while ago, when we made the top 10 of the retirement people wanting to live in Anderson, we already know this is a great place. We don't have nobody to tell us, and it's all because of the people in Anderson County. I hear this all the time everywhere we go, and I want to thank y'all and wish y'all a very, very Merry Christmas. God bless you and your families, and have a great, safe time. And I want to thank the band. See, I had a band. I want to thank Mr. Jones, who's been here ever since I can remember putting this on. I really appreciate the job he does for us. Thank y'all. Hope y'all have a good night. Thank y'all. That's a good crowd. Uh, just want to say Merry Christmas from the Sheriff's Office. Appreciate all you guys. And uh, hope everybody has a safe evening. Thanks. All right. Well, on behalf of AMED Health and our Board of Trustees and our CEO, Mr. William Kinley, and over our 4,000 teammates, we'd also like to welcome all of you to the uh, downtown holiday walk and Christmas tree lighting. And hey, we got this pandemic on. But because we're able to come together as a community, because we're able to adapt and overcome and do it together, we're here tonight celebrating and enjoying ourselves. Now, we're not done with the pandemic, but we're so happy that because things are looking better, we're able to be here tonight together. And we're excited about that as a hospital system. I hope you are as a community. You see the Amet Health tents back there? Please go back there and get you hot chocolate and popcorn. Uh, we got these cool glasses. You want, you're gonna want them on those. They're gonna be a collector's item, trust me. And you get information about our hospital system and our COVID vaccine tests. Um, and finally, I'll just close by thanking all the people that's made this possible tonight. Thank you for the city and the county and for allowing us to be a part of that as your hospital system. Uh, and thanks to all of you for being here. And our hope for you is that you have a healthy, safe, and blessed Christmas season and holiday season. And we look forward to seeing y'all next year. Thank you. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Thank you. Absolutely amazing. I challenge any town around here. I guarantee you they don't have a Christmas tree like ours. I guarantee you.